Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Barry Beckham and the subject here is a quick start guide for Pictures to XE8. Now these tutorials are suitable for both the Essentials version and also the Deluxe version of Pictures to XE. Now what is the most important thing that many of us look for when we start working with any new software program? Remembering, of course, that all software is, is a tool that enables us to produce something. Maybe a Word document, but in our case, a slideshow. Well, I would suggest that the first thing that most of us want is to find the most direct and the quickest route to an end result. In our case, a basic slideshow. We want to see a physical result, but at the same time, we want to get a broad brush feel for how the software works and we want to avoid all the unwanted detail because learning is easier that way. Right now at this early stage we're not particularly interested in all of the options that the software can offer us. In fact it's those same options that make the learning much harder than perhaps it could be. The problem is, how do we know what options we need or don't need to get that first slideshow rolling off the production line? Now that's where we can step in with our quick start guide. We're going to provide you with some images, a piece of MP3 music, and together we're going to make a slideshow start to finish, step by step, but we're going to do that in about 20 minutes. So let me start by telling you that the images we're going to use, those that we've supplied, come directly from a typical Canon digital SLR in JPEG format. So from a size point of view, these images are pretty typical of modern digital cameras. So our first question about do we need to resize our images is no we don't. We can if we want, but it's not essential, and we haven't done that here. So in the first section we'll use the images just as they are. In part two we'll take a look at another option where we can size the images and maybe match the aspect ratio of those with the slideshow we're making. In part two we split our video into five sections. Three of those is going through how we can resize images and adjust the aspect ratio of the images using either Photoshop, Photoshop Elements or Lightroom. So why don't we get started with our quick start guide part one. <laughs> 